some in. I'm, I know you. Or I was like, <laughs> I know you love this, but on paper, this one looks like a fun one on Saturday, right? Kevin's oh, yeah. a good guy. It's a good striking matchup. What do you think? Yeah, hundred percent, man. My last two fights have been against some heavy grapplers, so. Uh, you know, this guy he did really good in the 185 division, come down to the 170, he's doing good there. Even though he's not ranked, he's still, he's well known, he's exciting, uh, he's tall, he's got that 81 inch reach, it's going to be fun to navigate Saturday. But uh, yeah, man, this, this has got excitement all over it. Is this a funny one, right? Because I know that you, you get on with most of the people you fight, but you guys actually have something in common leading into this one. He doesn't want to do it in wrestling. You could do without it for this one. Like, is this a fun one to just talk it over with him? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, waking up for this fight has definitely got a smile on my face for sure because I know the fans are going to be excited about it. The UFC is going to be excited about it. And, I mean, have you seen Kevin Holland fight? He's freaking, he's exciting, man. He likes to talk out there. It's funny because I have sparring partners that are talking to me <laughs> uh, during sparring sessions, so. Uh, it's going to be a fun one, for sure. Are they as uh, inventive as he is? I mean, he says some wacky stuff. Yeah, dude, it's not, I don't think it's going to be hate or anything. I don't think he talks trash, trash. But, I, you know, he'll sit there and say some stuff here from now. You know, I was watching a video not too long ago of him literally during mid-fight talking to Khabib about, hey, man, how can I stop this wrestling? You know what I mean? Help me out here, man. But, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a, a, a fun one. And, and um, I'm honored to be able to go out there and share the octagon with him. Can we confirm Jack Black is walking you to the camp? Man, okay, so uh, it was going to happen. Right. And now I know he, he was on tour, so he told me that he's going to be able to make it out. But then he, he, he realized he wasn't going to be able to. He hit me up a few days ago. I was like, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it out there, but I'll be watching you from, from, uh, from California. I was like, no worries, man. You do your thing. So uh, it's pretty cool that he was thinking about me, especially enough to actually get in touch with me and let me know. Um, but... Uh, I, it's just really cool to, to be able to meet one of my all-time, yeah. you know, uh, greatest actors and, and musicians. So You're not going to change the song now to be like, oh, you didn't no. come here, how dare you? Yeah, how dare you, man, put something else on. No, not at all. Dude. Yeah, I will all, for always and forever will be walking out to Tenacious D, by, you know, Wonder Boy by Tenacious D. Is it surreal when, like, you know, you've been walking out to that for so long and then, you know, the guy's in front of you and he's telling you how much he's a big fan and stuff? Is that just... Dude. Bonkers. It was awesome, man. We were out in Wilmington, North Carolina, went to one of his, his, his concerts, and got to literally hang out with him throughout the day. And how you see him in the movies is how he is in real life. I'm, I'm literally hanging out with Kung Fu Panda right now. This is crazy. So, uh, I mean, him and my brother, it was, he made it like we knew him for years, you know? So he, he, treated the, uh, he treated us very nicely. It was cool. That's awesome. So for you, the goals moving forward, right? I feel like people want to put labels on you and say, oh, he's just looking for fun fights. But you still want a title at the end of this, right? You're still oh, yeah. looking to get to the top of this, this sport. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the goal, the title is always at the top of the list for sure. Um, and always striving for that. I mean, especially watching Leon Edwards out there, another, another fellow striker. Not only uses striking, but his wrestling, his grappling. Um, and to be able to knock out one of the guys who is supposed to be unbeatable, man. Yeah. You know, that gives me inspiration. So I know I can, I can do that. You know, so I'm, I'm not giving up on it at all. Is it cool still being inspired by this, right? Still finding those things to get you out and be like, man, if he can do that, I can do this. Is it still cool to find the joy in this still? Yeah, I mean, especially when you've been doing it as long as I have. Man. I've been fighting since I was 15. You know, I'm 39 right now. I'll be 40 in a few months. But I, f I still wake up every day wanting to, wanting to come in the gym and train. And uh, especially having a fight like this, I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face and excited to go into the gym and train. Um... And uh, so that's what, you know, that's what does it for me. I know that this is going to be exciting and the fans are going to like it. And uh, I'm not going to have anybody just take me down and hold me down. And it was something that I learned from my last fight. Like, people don't mind winning fights that way. So uh, it let me know what I really needed to work on. But at this point, you know, uh, I'm constantly working on my wrestling and jiu-jitsu. But knowing that I'm fighting somebody like Kevin, I won't put it past him to try to, to, to slip in a... Uh, a guillotine or a Doris or hit me up against a cage for something uh, where I have to use my wrestling. But I have to be a better well-rounded fighter in order to move up. Do you look at your division and sort of go, oh man, there are a lot of grappling heavy guys up here. I wish there wasn't. Well, I mean, the, we got one of the, the most stacked divisions in the UFC and I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I don't wanna, I'm not the type of guy to be like, I wish my division was easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because then it, it, it really doesn't give, it really doesn't motivate me. So I'm kind of glad that the fact that I got some stacked wrestlers and got some of the best guys, and the UFC is in the welterweight division. 
I hear Masvidal's in town. You could try and make that call out. Is he really? Yeah, man. BMF versus NMF. I've been saying it forever. I mean, I beat him the last time, but just saying. Good stuff. Thanks, man. Yeah, I just got a quick question. Um, Anderson Silva, obviously he's famous for working with Steven Seagal. We saw Jack Black teaching you a kick <laughs> on, on the internet that was floating around. So I'm just curious if we're going to see that in the octagon. Dude, I'm telling you, be looking for it. And what surprised me the most of how flexible that dude was. I don't, I, I didn't even get my kick up that high. Like out of nowhere, he kicked literally above my head. And I was, it surprised me. And I was like, you know what? I can't do that right now. We'll pull a hamstring. I think I did pull a hamstring actually when I did that. Are you, are you going to make the scream as well when he kicked? Is that, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got to do the sound effects. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.